All right, what is up everybody? Welcome back. We were just getting out of a video here with some basic warfare techniques. Um, when you're doing your flying your planes, we are in, if you do not know, we are, let's go ahead and back up for a second. We are in warplanes, World War I fighters basically if you have not seen the other videos i'd definitely check them out we talked about recommended airplanes um for on both sides of them when you're talking about central powers or the triple entity you'll be able to kind of get my idea of what would be your best planes to use for that and some of the reasons why too so i like to fight a lot with the triple entity i like hearing what they're saying i don't understand german i'm sorry i don't know but okay so we were looking here for some good bombing ones so we got some protection destroy some boats fighter zeppelins so let's go into some boats and see if we can do it with our bomber here basically now with the bomber i use the arco dh10 because it has the 40 bombs it is a bus it is a lot to move around versus some of your smaller planes here it takes a lot more effort to try to move it around. You cannot shoot the plane. You cannot shoot with the plane, I mean, manually, but you do have two gunners with you that will do the shooting for you. Most of the time they do pretty decent. I still wish I could shoot on this plane, but I, that's what I got my other two planes here for as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with this and let's go through some bomber basics. Lift off Airborne. out of Bristol because right now I still have that as my commander plane. And once we get to the next part, so if you do not know this, the other planes that you bring with you over here, basically, um, over here as well, you see them all down here. And if you did not know this, you can select which plane you want to be sitting in right now. You can go to either one of these. And you can have your gunners with you on this one here. But right now we're talking about bombers, so let's work on that a little bit. Um, I wish we had a little bit bigger boats to explain this to you, because some of the boats, they're destroyers, bigger, way bigger boats than this here, will actually have anti-aircraft, which you can do two full type ready. of attacks to them. They're busy on some fighters back here, which is really helpful. Bandage eliminated! So there's two type of attacks. You can do really down low at them, like I um, was trying to show them one at one point in time. If you get down really low on anti-aircraft that is shooting up from the ground on you, I think we'll show that in another video here actually, they cannot hit you when you're really low to the ground. Or the second way is actually taking it way up. So this little thing right here for your altitude Enemy down. that you're at, See if we can do this really quick before We've we start. Incoming this thing enemy out. fighters, get ready. Enemy fighter eliminated. Okay. So we're about to be incoming at danger bandits. speed here. Hostile when we fighters. hit the red, that means we're going to be stalling. So we got to take a break for a moment on our climbing. We'll let our engine cool down for a second. Get back up there. So once you get above 5,500. That is where they cannot hit you with your anti-aircraft, with all of their anti-aircraft gear. So you'll be out of range of that. But here, grab our little bombs. You'll see this little crosshair thing here on the ground. That is where you're aiming. Just try to aim for that center of the crosshair there. And it tries to help line it up nicely with the long front part of the crosshair and everything up there. Let's see if we can hit some of these. These are very tiny boats so they might be a little harder to hit best way is coming from the front or the back behind basically if you come across there it is still possible but it is still a little harder and you usually can only hit one or one bomb or so and I'm generally per boat so if you come in from the back you can actually usually hit them a couple times per bomb especially those bigger boats so we're gonna come up behind these guys for a moment Aim for the very front of the boat. Bomb away. Try not to aim. Bomb away. I got it. There we go. We got one there. Boat destroyed. Got another one there. So aim just right on the front of the Incoming boat. Incoming bandits. Crosshair Hostile fighters. There. Best advice I could really give. 
Now, sometimes if you're in multiplayer, you can have other people in the plane with you. That is a lot of fun too. If you want to try to help him out too, you can try to invert this plane upside down. Gives them a little bit more shooting if you're way up this high, basically. But it's also harder to fly, so that's another thing that takes a lot of practice on there, too. Oop. A little glitch in here. Alright. Trying to hit the boats. That boat is swimming One, with the fishes. Two. Marvelous. So that's pretty much the basics of that, is making sure you are doing that if you do not know how much bombs you have with like this one's got 35 here that's showing it's still in this little imaginary endless box you can see each one of these planes will have like 16 flares 14 14 but they don't have bombs so that's why i bring a bomb plane all the time with me i have a visual on enemy fighters let's go ahead and do this real quick for fun as enemy you are down closer to the ground the crosshairs will be up Further from the boat, or further from your plane. Dropping bombs. Target destroyed. Mission critical. That was the last one. Good job. Going a little bit further. Bomber is a little more difficult to land, but not by too much. The sad thing about the bomber is I wish it had flares on this thing. Some of the other ones do have flares in with like some of your gunners. That was a smooth landing. I get a giant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it is still a really new game and a little glitchy, so you'll see some interesting stuff once in a while, too. Um, but yeah, that's the bomber basics with that. Pretty giant thing there. Some of the other planes do have bombs, like this one here. It has eight bombs with this. It's a little easier to maneuver versus that bomber so kind of depends if you're wanting to drive a giant tank or not this thing does have the two gunners and takes a lot of bullets to take down as well so one of those things like kind of pick and choose this one doesn't take much to bring down versus this but it's kind of up to your style as well um all right but yeah if there's any other questions feel free to let me know and um catch you on the other side here